everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make collective items in Scratch. This is a very necessary skill in case you're making games on Scratch or collective item games like you have to collect something from the atmosphere around the sprite. So to start with it, we're going to go ahead and have the cat sprite or you can choose any sprite that you want. I'm choosing the cat for this example. I'm going to show you how to add special effects to the collective item. For example, I'm choosing the apple. So that's going to be where I'm going to apply my special effects. Okay, so what kinds of cool effects am I talking about? I'm talking about the kind of effects that makes the player attempt it to get that item. So to do that, we're going to want to make a sprite, like I'm choosing an apple over here. The apple needs to bob up and down to give the player more temptation. This is called bobbing up and down. We can even make the sprite make a sound once the player collects it. Let's start coding. Now, when we think about it, we don't want the apple bobbing up and down forever. We want it to stop and hide as soon as the cat sprite touches it. Now, in order to do that, we can't put it underneath the when the green flag clicked exactly because then it would keep bobbing up and down even after the cat sprite touches it. We would have to keep it inside this repeat until loop, adding a sensing block inside it. Touching cat. Now, we will have to put in the bobbing code inside the repeat until loop. If the collective item is going up and down, we need to change the position by Y, or else if we change the position by X, it would go side to side. Let's add a new variable called frame. Let's make the sprite do something as soon as the cat touches it. We'll make it play this chomp sound to make it sound like the cat ate the apple. It doesn't really sound that realistic. As soon as the cat touches the sprite, it plays that sound chomp, but it doesn't disappear, so it doesn't look like the cat actually ate it. Adding the hide block will fix that. Okay, let's make the cat move now. We want it to jump, go to the right, go to the left, and do all sorts of things. But let's be honest, moving 10 steps forward does not look like walking. To make it look like walking, we're going to have to make velocity variables and gravity variables. Let's make a new block called replace. Define it as shown here. And don't forget to make the y velocity variable as well. Construct the main code as shown here. Now, when you run the project, this looks way much better. But hey, aren't we forgetting something? Where's the apple? Okay, the apple is still hidden from the last time the cat ate it. Let's say whenever we click the green flag, it shows back up again. Nice. Let's try playing it. Yep, it disappears. But let's be honest, that's not really much fun to watch either. Making it disappear and just disappearing off the stage does not really sound interesting, nor does it look interesting. Let's change that. Let's make it fade up and fade away as soon as the cat eats it. For that, we're going to have to add some more code into the apple's main code. 
To make it fade away, we're going to have to use an effect called the ghost effect, which is in Scratch's looks category. And we're making it fade up, so we're using Y's coordinates. Let's change Y by 2 and use the ghost effect by 5. Let's try running the project by clicking on the green flag. Wow, that looks so much better. Anyway, that's all I wanted to show you today. You can take this off in so many different directions. You can make different platform games with this too. Thanks for watching. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the like button.